Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Dr. Abdurrahman here uh, with a new chapter, the Dental Vexes, that is chapter number 4 from our book, The Dental Material Sciences by John McCabe and Angus W. G. Walms. Before telling you that uh, what will be discussed in this uh, video, uh, I want to tell you a short story that what is going on here. Uh, we learned gypsum. Uh, about gypsum in previous videos, uh, all of it. Uh, now we are going to discuss about uh, the vexes. Uh, in the uh, production of the dental appliances, uh, there are certain steps uh, that is number one is uh, we make a stone or plaster model, then it backs it up from the vexes uh, which are used in the laboratory and then we lay down the wax and pour our mold with the molten alloy or acrylic resins then we get the replica of our resultant appliances and then we can locate it in the patient's mouth so for making models we have covered and we have learned about gypsum and for waxing it up and uh, for laying down of vexes we have to and we should know about the properties uh, and every other thing of dental vexes. Today in this video we will discuss about the introduction and the requirements of wax pattern and then the classification and composition of the dental vexes. So starting from the introduction, why do vexes consists of uh, vexes are composed of uh, five uh, uh, components that are the vexes that can be natural or synthetic plus resins and plus oils plus fats plus pigments these all five components are blend together to get a resultant wax now the definition of dental vexes Waxes are thermoplastic materials. Basically, thermoplastic materials are those materials which are normally solids at room temperature but melt without decomposition. It means that uh, they did not uh, and they do not uh, lose uh, any of its uh, composition to form mobile liquids. Now, the what waxes are used for? Waxes are used for making patterns of appliances before casting. Now, after the production of a stone model or dye, the next stage in the formation of dental appliances is the production of the wax pattern. As I mentioned earlier in the video that uh, in the production of uh, dental appliances, there are certain steps that includes the production of a stone model or dye and then the wax pattern now what is wax pattern wax pattern is the part of wax that is used to define shape size of the resulting appliance and is finally replaced by either a polymer or an alloy using the lost wax technique now what is lost wax technique when we have made the stone model then we have made the wax pattern through it from it and then we lay out wax from lost wax technique and then we replace it with either a polymer or either an alloy now what is lost wax technique lost wax technique is the method of melting Metal casting in which a molten metal is poured into a mold that has been created by means of a wax model. Once the mold is made, the wax model is melted and drained away. So it is basically the technique uh, through which we can uh, uh, burn out the wax uh, from the our mold and then we can replace it uh, from polymer or from an alloy now there are certain techniques to make a wax pattern and uh, for the production of the dental appliance through cast number one is indirect technique what do they mean by indirect technique and uh, the methods which involve the production of a model 
followed by the laying down of a wax pattern the methods which include the laying down of wax pattern and then replacing it from either an alloy or from polymer that this indirect technique includes the lab work now the direct or chair side technique in the direct technique the inlay wax is used it is important to know that in this technique the inlay wax is adapted and shaped in the prepared cavity in the mouth that this uh, the advantage of this technique is that you can perform it at chair side now I will show you the slides of a certain dental waxes that I mentioned in the book with their uh, particular uses. In the waxes, uh, two types that have one soft type to hard various colors, uh, blue, green, purple, available in cake sticks and the block forms are uh, used for inlays, onlays and crown and bridges. Carding wax. This is the material on which artificial porcelain and acrylic teeth are attached when received from the manufacturer. Boxing in wax used to form a plaster or a stone cast from an impression of the dentulous arch. Sticky wax. This material is, is used for temporary joining of two components of an appliance, for example, during soldering. Now, the requirement of the wax pattern. All the dental materials have certain requirements. And the requirements of wax pattern are the pattern should copy the exact size, shape and contour of appliances. It is these three points are very important to memorize for the OSPI purpose. Now the wax pattern should be dimensionally stable. What do they mean by dimensionally stable is that the wax should not undergo dimensional changes before and after the setting. Now, the wax should boil out without leaving a residue that is when we perform the that is when we perform the lost wax techniques there should be no residue left otherwise your uh, appliance or your cast or your mold will have porosities now the classification and composition of waxes according to their origin I have used the word the sentence according to their origin because classification can be of different types. We get waxes either from a mineral, from animal and from vegetable. From mineral origin we have two waxes that is paraffin wax and microcrystalline wax. And from animal origin we have beeswax and from vegetable origin we have carnauba wax and candelilla wax. One important thing I would like to include here is that carnauba wax is the hardest of the waxes it can it is very important for the mcq's point of view now the paraffin wax and microcrystalline wax that are the or that the originate from the mineral are both obtained from pot petroleum residues following distillation basically distillation is the action of purifying a liquid by a process of heating and cooling uh, by purifying a liquid we can then extract the paraffin and microcrystalline waxes because they are the hydrocarbons paraffin and microcrystalline waxes are hydrocarbons certain properties of paraffin and microcrystalline waxes is that paraffin wax has the Softening temperature of 37 to 55 degrees centigrade. Now, what is softening temperature? Basically, it is the temperature at which crystalline changes occur in the wax in the wax, and it becomes softer and moldable for the use. And it has the melting temperature 48 to 70 degrees centigrade. These magnitudes are important to be memorized paraffin waxes are straight chain hydrocarbons 
Now the microcrystalline wax. Micro microcrystalline waxes are branch chain hydrocarbons. They have the melting point of 65 to 90 degrees centigrade. I will uh, tell the definition of softening temperature in the upcoming videos more accurately. Now the different waxes are added with each other to have adequate property. This point is very important we want adequate and almost almost perfect uh, ideal properties of waxes so what we do is we add different max waxes to get proper and adequate properties so what happens when we mix two different waxes either uh, its melting point rises up and its softening temperature decreases and the wax becomes less brittle this whole point is very important to understand the properties of the waxes now what is the advantage of increasing melting point and decreasing the softening temperature let's suppose wax a has the melting temperature of 70 degrees centigrade and softening temperature of 40 degrees centigrade there is a less difference between the temperature so if the wax has a softening temperature of 40 degrees centigrade it takes more time as well as temperature and heat to be in a moldable state and to be soft so we can use it in our purposes now the suppose the wax number b we add wax a and wax b together then we have melting point of 80 degree centigrade as i mentioned here melting point increases similarly here melting point increases and then the softening temperature decreases so what is the advantages of these properties as softening temperature decreases it takes less temperature time and heat to be soft and in moldable state so we can manipulate it as longer as we can the thing is here is the greater temperature difference which aids uh, which buy us time to manipulate the wax now beeswax is a mixture of natural crystalline polyester plus paraffin wax